One of country music's biggest news stars, Marin Morris, goes into the 52nd annual ACM Awards, already a winner. It was previously announced she's the new female vocalist of the year. She admits it does help calm some nerves. It definitely <laughs> is an icebreaker going into the awards, already having one, and I, it was just so crazy when I heard that I did one because, or did win, because I, um, I was in London at the time and we were doing a festival out there, and my manager was like, you just won an ACM, and I was like, how? <laughs> It's so early, but um, it was so cool. And then I was so proud of my friends, brothers Osborne and John Party for winning their first ACMs too. Shows like this showcase how wide the range of country music is now, even within collaborations like she's doing with Thomas Rhett. Morin spoke about why she feels this broadening of the genre has been good overall. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you listen to my album, it's a lot of, it's a collective of different genres and inspirations and uh, yeah, performing with Thomas Rhett, um, our song Craving You. I'm so excited for the fans to see it and sort of see our worlds come together uh, because I feel like he's sort of a genre pusher and boundary pusher and I feel the same way about my music and it just seemed natural for us to do a song together at some point. Point. And so I'm excited to debut it at the ACMs and um, yeah, I mean, I think it's great for the genre personally because I grew up listening to everything and if, you know, these songs can sort of be the, the gateway drug to bring people that don't normally listen to country into the, the genre and start to go back and listen to Johnny Cash and like Patsy Cline and the 90s era. I think it's only helpful for our genre to, to push the boundaries and bring new listeners in. From here, she goes on to wrap up her headlining tour and then this fall takes it international. Morris says she's learned a lot from this run. Well, I learned what my fans really looked like for the first time. I'd never seen all of them in one space. I've always been opening up on different tours, so this was my own show, own production, and it was so cool to see everyone's face and have that really intimate club moment where you can hear them singing back to you and see each and every one of them. And it just taught me how to be a boss, a CEO, um, a good boss, and uh, just connect with my fans on a deeper level and kind of give back to them because they, they put me here. In Las Vegas, Ashley Devorkin, Fox News.